Being a small country that is surrounded by hostile enemies, Israel relies heavily on its technology and innovations in order to give it an unfair advantage on the battlefield. Here are Israel's top seven most powerful weapons. Before we get into the video, if you are military, law enforcement, or are a civilian with a high level of tactical gear knowledge, you can apply to Agilite's gear testing program. Selected applicants receive product samples, videos, or questionnaires regarding gear or concepts still in development, free of charge. Click the link in the description below to apply. Now, back to the video. Number 7. Spike Firefly The Spike Firefly was created to be one of the most precision-guided missiles ever. Being the smallest member of the Spike family, calling the projectile a missile can be a misnomer. It is closer to a kamikaze drone by the way it is used and designed. The loitering munition is armed with high-tech cameras and 350 grams of explosives. Its single-user operations means that a lone soldier can set up and launch the drone while gathering reconnaissance on the target, then send it off to destroy whatever it may come across. The weapon, along with its sensors, easily fits into a canister, which can be carried in a soldier's backpack. Number 6. Trophy Active Protection System one of the IDF's top priorities is keeping its ground forces as safe and protected as possible. Investing in heavy-duty carriers and tanks like the Namer and the Merkava was a great start. Israel knew this might not be enough due to advancing anti-tank technologies. To enhance the protection of its soldiers inside tanks and carriers, while in combat zones, urban environments, and in enemy ambushes, the IDF created the Trophy Active Protection System. The trophy uses both hard and soft kill systems, meaning it can both destroy an incoming projectile or confuse the projectile so it won't hit its designated target. The system radar is placed atop the tank or carrier in all four areas as well as two rotating launchers at the sides of the vehicle, making a 360-degree eye of protection from any incoming attacks. Its radars are so strong that they can even be used for gathering intelligence, like enemy locations. The trophy system is so effective, it launched an arms race to create rockets that can penetrate its defense parameters, while also being copied and imitated in armies around the world. It is the mark of great ingenuity and greater protection. Number 5. Mossad From the dawn of Israel, the young country understood the power of intelligence gathering from outside of its own borders. The Mossad was created in 1949 and was authorized to deploy its first undercover missions abroad in 1951. Since then, the Special Operation Agency allegedly takes action in countless countries around the globe to help Jewish communities survive and Israel to thrive. It's officially recognized within Israel as an intelligence gathering force, but its capability of executing special operations gives it the flexibility to work outside of the political boundaries. The Mossad has allegedly assassinated many of Israel's enemies and most wanted targets that have threatened Israel's well-being. The missions are rarely disclosed to the public, and what information is given is highly censored. The only time Israeli citizens would hear the Mossad's name in topical news would be when different countries accused the agency of an event it may or may not have taken part in. Being able to infiltrate some of Israel's most hostile enemies is a job very few people can handle and keeping the identities of Mossad's agents a secret is a top priority for the agency and Israel. The Mossad is regarded as one of the best secret agencies for a good reason. Its portfolio of intelligence gathering and alleged assassinations all over the globe has given it the identity as one of the deadliest and most dangerous organizations in the world. Number 4. Attack Drones Israel is one of the world's leading developers and exporters of drone technology. Its relatively early lead in research and development of drones gave the developing country an edge on the modern-day battlefield. It was only as recent as 2022 that the IDF declassified one of its biggest open-kept secrets. Israel, for more than four decades, has been using attack drones to assassinate and destroy its enemies abroad. When the IDF and Israel understood the power of attack UAVs and drones, they began innovating beginning to create UAVs that can carry munitions as early as the 1990s. Since then, Israel has allegedly used its drones in many attacks and assassinations, taking out the country's most wanted enemies from afar. Number 3. Aero Anti-Ballistic Missiles One of the biggest threats on the modern-day battlefield is not an all-out war, but the ability of hostile countries to shoot ballistic missiles from afar and cause a great deal of damage and distractions. A powerful enough missile could devastate a small country like Israel. 
That is why in 1986, the Aero Missiles Defense Program began. With the backing of the U.S., Israel started to develop what became one of the strongest and most technologically advanced anti-ballistic missiles in the world. The Aero family of anti-ballistic missiles is of a unique breed, designed to be much faster, stronger, and more accurate than other missile defense systems. It can meet incoming ballistic missiles and destroy them in space, minimizing collateral damage. With its latest iteration of the family, the Aero 3, can shoot further, faster, more accurately, and hit harder than any of its previous versions. Number 2. F-35I The F-35I, the Adir, is Israel's adaptation to the F-35 fighter jet. It has the capabilities of a stealth, striker, and reconnaissance jet. It is also equipped with electronic warfare capabilities, a highly advanced augmented reality heads-up display, and a system that lets information be instantly transferred to Allied planes in the area. By the request of Israel when the jet was still in development, the F-35I has a plug-and-play system specifically so Israel could add whatever technology it sees fit, which makes the jet wholly unique to the Israeli Air Force. Israel used the jet in one of its first-ever public missions in 2018, Operation House of Cards, allegedly striking Iranian targets in Syria. The operation was one of Israel's biggest air campaigns in decades, and the F-35 Adir played a pivotal role in its success. Number 1. Nukes Nuclear power and atomic bombs have a lot more power than just being some of the most destructive weapons in the history of humanity. As a weapon, it is effective, but as a political pawn and a deterrent, it is much more powerful, and the Israeli government knew this almost immediately. The Israeli nuclear program was created almost as soon as the country was founded, as Israel thought it was the only way to keep the Jewish state safe. Decades later, it is still not known how much nuclear power Israel has. The estimation is in the large margins between 90 and 400 warheads, with enough plutonium stockpile to create another couple hundred. This information is only available because of a leak from back in the 1980s. But nuclear warheads hold a much greater value than their deadly powers. The political ramifications of owning a stockpile of atomic bombs are just as powerful. Having a nuclear arsenal means you are recognized as a superpower in your region, while deterring your enemies from attacking for fear of mutually assured destruction. This led Israel to not acknowledge its alleged nuclear programs, instead deciding to speak of it in the most roundabout and vague ways as possible, never confirming or denying its existence, but letting itself have the upper hand when it comes to discussions and usage of one of its most well-known top secrets. We might never know what power Israel holds in its hands, but the more mystery that shrouds its nuclear program, the more the small country has an upper hand in the turmoil state of the Middle East. Do you agree with our list? Which most powerful weapons do you think should have made it? And don't forget, if you are military, law enforcement, or are a civilian with a high level of tactical gear knowledge, you can apply to Agilite's gear testing program. Selected applicants receive product samples, videos, or questionnaires regarding gear or concepts still in development, free of charge. Click the link in the description below to apply.